What are these things? Well, Ninja Trader 8 introduced interval links and Ninja Trader 7 already had instrument links. If you're confused, let's get down to it. We'll show you some neat setups that you can do with linking inside of Ninja Trader 8. So let's get going. So why is this feature so underused? You know, it really beats me, but what exactly are instrument links and interval links might help you understand so that you use them. But we're gonna show that to you, so don't forget to subscribe if you want more tips and tricks. It's embedding that once you start using them, you'll be using this feature daily. So links are controlled by two squares at the top right of every chart. So the instrument links are the square to the right and the interval link is a square on the left. Now, if there is only one square on the window that you're looking at, by default, it's gonna be an instrument link. Okay, so for example, the market analyzer only has one square, so you know by default, it's an instrument link and clicking on the rows would change the instrument, but not the interval. So as an example, if you have two charts up and you have an instrument link with the same color on both charts, then both charts are gonna be linked together. If I change the instrument on the left chart, and it has a sonar indicator on it, it will change it on the right chart. Okay, why would you wanna do this? Say you have seven charts up and running with different time frames. Okay, they all have an instrument linked together. So you would pick one chart and change the instrument and all those other time frames will all change together. Okay, it's actually quite brilliant, less clicking, less annoying, more efficient. Okay, we can also do it with interval links. So I have two charts up here. They have a news marking tool on each one. It shows the news events for just those symbols. Okay, so now the interval link is the same color on each one. And we're gonna change one chart's time frame, and you're gonna see the other one change as well. So maybe you have seven of your favorite instruments up that you like to trade. Okay, maybe you wanna change it from a 60 minute to a five minute. You don't have to go through each chart and change it on each time frame. All you have to do is do it once and all the charts linked together with that color are gonna change. So if you're part of our webinars, you've seen this one screen set up before. The way that this works is my market analyzer scans her patterns, drops them into my alert log. Finally, the chart is above and that will display the pattern. So each window is instrument linked. If I click on the instrument in the alert log, boom, the chart changes. If I uh, select the instrument in the marking analyzer, the chart changes. Okay, they're all gonna be linked together because they all have the same colored link. Yes, it's simple, especially once you understand it, but you first have to know what it does and then you can get creative. We did a video on workspaces and different setups and later in the video, we go over a super crazy setup where we rotate your desktop like a 3D cube and then you can instrument link across your 3D cube. Like I said, you can get really creative. So don't forget to save your workspace once you've done all this so you don't have to do this setup again each and every time. Save it and you're done. So don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks. We also have a couple indicators that are totally free and you can download from xabcdtrading.com. One of them marks in news events, the other is a price line indicator. Very useful to fill in some missing features of NT8. So go grab those and we'll see you in the next video.